Hi and welcome to Practice with Tetranala. I'm Tetranala Turin, a Swedish artist, and we are training cello together here. I'm so happy that so many are following the videos and doing the videos and doing the practice. It makes me so, so proud and so happy that so many people are playing cello. So thank you for that. There was also some people who bought me a coffee. Thank you so much. That really gives me a lot of energy. You know that cello teachers needs a lot of coffee, so thank you. Uh, for you who doesn't know what the buy me a coffee is, is like a little icon here down in the description that makes it possible f to you to buy me a coffee. So it costs three euros, and uh, yeah, you're supporting my work in making videos and making more cellists in the world. Okay, it's important important stuff. Today, yeah. We are going to improvise a little bit. So we are going to use all the things that we learned and try to, yeah, do them. But without having any, like, sort of plan, plan we are going to do a little bit like we want. Experiment a little, a little bit, a little bit working with the musicality and stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be super fun. I'm very excited. Some people are a little bit scared of improvisation. Don't be. It's super fun. I love to improvise myself and it doesn't have to be a, a masterpiece. It just have to be fun. Improvisation is super good to just try out with your skills, uh, to kind of connect with your instrument and make it like a part of your body, like extend your body to the shallow. Okay. So we are in the D major world right now. We did the D major scale in some different variations. So. If you did the previous videos, you should know how to do uh, four notes on one ball, how to do two notes on one ball, for example, how to um, mm, play the whole scale. So up and down here on the D string, you know the fingering, you know twinkle, twinkle, little star. So you have some material to work with. So let's work with that material that we have. Mm, just do it simple. If you feel like, oh, I don't know what to do at all. You can do a trick. So you take a pen and a paper. I have a pen here. So you can write down a number. So we have four fingers, right? We have zero, and then we have four fingers. One, three, and four. One, three, and four. That's the whole D major scale, like da 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 da. -de. So that's all the notes that we can for sure play. So you can write down some numbers if you have no idea and then you can just try those numbers and see what happens. Uh, that's also a fun game if you have like these um, mm, phone numbers or favorite numbers, only up to four, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, you can use a little bit of different numbers that you like or just random numbers. I'm going to write some random numbers like I like, I will say zero three, four, zero, one, maybe. So zero, three, four, zero, one. That's a cool number. I'm gonna try it. So it's like zero, three, three, four, four, zero, one. So. Yeah, so that's one, one improvisation that I did just by numbers, random numbers. So. Maybe that could be something. So what you do, you take the numbers, that is the notes, and then you put it in a rhythm. Some random rhythm, or it can be a rhythm from your favorite song. For example, um, I have a lot of songs that I like, but maybe we should take an ABBA song because I'm Swedish. Mm, da 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 da, maybe, Mamma Mia. Everyone knows that one. Now I can even play it. And then I can take it on another. Um, now I did uh, zero. So zero one, I can then. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. So that was one 
improvisation, then I can take some parts of it and make a little song, you know, like... <laughs> It's just to practice something, to do something that is not organized in the note way. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is not perfect in my opinion. Maybe to make it more a song, it will have to be more similar. But we are not trying to compose. We are just trying to improvise. Train our skills, okay? I'm going to play a D. So I'm going to have a foundation. Like, I'm just a carpet for you to dance on. So I play a D now, and then you play uh, improvisation. So pause the video and write down your favorite number if you need to, and then try it out. I will just play a D, so you can do whatever you want for, yeah, maybe one minute or so. So now you play, improvise. Okay, so there was a little bit of time to do improvisation. Now we did mostly, I did mostly on the D string. So we can start on one string just to feel, you know, safe in that string. <laughs> we can have a little bit of rhythm, like dun dun da. A little bit Christmas, Christmas is, you know, like Christmas. Uh, dum dum dum. That's a nice one. For example, that's cool. Sounds a little bit like you know groovy. So let's make another groove <coughs> with another rhythm. No, uh, dun dun dun. So we did it, did it, did it, maybe. That was my version of this. Da da da. This is the rhythm we have. Da da da. Da, da, da. Now you try. You can play any notes that you like, as long as it's this rhythm. Da, da, da. And then you can play another rhythm when you feel like it. Okay? You can do what you want. Okay? I'm just going to play the D, and you play what you want. This is one of those moments that I really wish that I could hear what you are playing because this would be so fun to hear what uh, what ideas you had, what crazy ideas you made or what calm thing you made. So now let's improvise in a mode. Yeah. From now on we were just trying some technical improvisation. So now we can do improvisation of, of our mode. I like to do this great game a lot uh, where I write things on the paper and then my students have to take the paper and read it out and then they have to play the way that it's set on the paper. But I'm just going to tell you a mode now. So let's play an improvisation now on the major scale that is so sad, super sad. Like your one family member is dying and this is the last song they will ever hear. So it has to be sad and beautiful with a lot of love, okay? That's a difficult one, but we can do it, okay? I will try one time first, and then you can play after when I do the D. 
I know that I'm cheating. I'm also playing C sometimes uh, because I just can't resist. Okay, but in the improvisation, everything is allowed. So play whatever note you feel like. But I'm just saying that D major is like our home because it just makes it easier to limit yourself actually. Because limits are very good when you do these kind of free things because otherwise you easily get lost because you can do everything okay so this was one so now you are going to improvise improvise on the team that i said sad family member dying you play something beautiful with a lot of love okay give it away <laughs> Okay, really nice. I hope. Send me what you are playing. I want to hear it. I'm so. Send me. Can you email me? Swedish Alice uh, gmail.com. Huh? Send me something. I want to hear what you play. Uh, or tag me in a video, whatever. I, I just want to hear it. It's so exciting. So now it is very sad and uh, loving. Let's do one when you play like you were the witch in a fairy tale. Okay, so you're a witch now in a fairy tale, and you're gonna play something on this team. I will play one, uh, one thing first that I think is a witchy. Then we'll see. thinking this witch in Hansel and Gretel, you know, in, in um, the one where the, the children is putting out bread to find a way home, and then they came to this big gingerbread house. That's kind of which I was thinking, you know, like tick 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 tick. You can think whichever witch you want. You don't have to play like me at all. This was just something that I took from my imagination. Now you use your imagination and play whatever you want. I'm going to play a D just to make it more, you know, more music. Mm. witch so now we did uh, a witch we did the uh, loving and caring what should be next hmm. mm, okay so now we have to be something uh, like the nature so maybe you are gonna be a sun maybe you're gonna be the wind maybe you're gonna be the sea so something from nature uh, okay I'm gonna do something first I think 
I'm gonna mix a little bit. Maybe you can hear what it is. I will tell you later what it, what it is, okay? <laughs> I was thinking rain, and at first the wind, like, and then I was thinking rain, like falling down. Okay, just like that. Now you do something from your imagination that is connected to nature. It can be a thunderstorm, it can be sunshine, it can be anything. Okay, I'm just gonna play a D, and you do an improvisation. <laughs> super cool now we have been doing three or four or five improvisations that is really cool okay so this is just a little bit how you can work with improvisation and learn and use what you learn to create something of your own and everyone can improvise at any level so that's the good thing about it you don't have to know that much you just have to have a little bit of imagination and be a little bit brave to try anything you know think outside the box uh, so that's fun and I has I think it's super fun to do this kind of games and it really opened up your eyes for what is uh, possible to play okay so and this is all what it is about to express things to express something that we have in our head and to put it on the shello that's what music is about that's wha what the shallow playing is about so this is super good exercise uh, have fun with it guys have super fun and see you next video i hope to see you and i hope that you repeat the things that you feel that oh maybe i have to do this one more time maybe two times do it more times um, rather than less times because i also had a student telling me the other day that oh, i'm trying new videos and i thought that i i was past the, that level but actually when i went to the next video i, I couldn't do it so I, ne I needed to go back and do the video one more time so it's always better to overlearn things you know learn it so much that you can do it in your sleep because you know it so well because then you will have a lot of success and success feeds success so the more success you have with your shallow the better okay so try to you know have fun that's that's most important Okay, now go and practice some more and see you next time.